Having the ability to add cool text to your videos is something that will create engagement, give viewers something to watch as you're telling a story, sharing an example of how to do something or whatever. And in this video, I wanna share how you can create and incorporate all kinds of cool text and text effects using nothing more than a free app as well as iMovie. Stick around and we'll get into it. Ryan G. Johnson. Now what you watched, that is the first 30 seconds of this video, all the text effects were added using the app Videorama. This is a free app, doesn't cost anything. You can unlock additional functionality, a dollar here, two dollars there, very inexpensive. And I wanna show you how I created that really cool kinetic text effect uh, right now. If you're brand new to me, Brian G. Johnson TV here on YouTube, make sure you hit that red subscribe button right now. All right, let's get to it. Now, the first thing I always do is I really, if I'm editing strictly on my phone or my iPad, I'll come in and I'll take uh, the video I want to edit and I will edit, trim it, and, and do all, all of that inside of iMovie. Now, I've already done that here and you can see this is exactly where the video begins. As I say, adding uh, cool text effects, et cetera, et cetera. Now I came in and I actually used another app that's called Intromate. And I used Intromate to create this cool kind of transition right here. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna link to that video. I've actually got a video on how to do this bad TV, uh, glitch TV text effect. I'll link to that right now in the YouTube card. And I'm also gonna link to my iMovie tutorial. If you're not familiar with iMovie, check that out in the YouTube card right now. So after I've trimmed my video, I've got all the, the stuff uh, cleaned up that I need to add. I select done. And then I export, I save to my computer. And once uh, we've got things saved, I then open up Videorama and I'm gonna teach and show you how you can create really awesome kinetic text. And you can see I've got a few of the projects in uh, right here. And basically you can see that I've already begun to drop in some of the text. And notice the timing is real good. It comes in, boom, add text right with my hand, add cool text effects create engaging, etc. So after I've exported the movie from iMovie, I then fire up Videorama and I select landscape down below and that's from the pick a project size to get started. So 16 by nine for landscape. I then select the exact video I want to use, which is actually this one. This is the one that doesn't have anything. Now this screen allows you to do any additional trimming that you need to do, but I've already done that in iMovie, so I'm all set there. I'll click on Done in the upper right-hand corner. It imports the project, creates another one, and now you see up top we've got the playhead. And that kind of allows us to see what we have where. And right here, I'm going to raise my hand, and I say Add. Do you see my lips? Add. Cool. Add, cool. So I come in here. And I'm going to raise my hand right now. And right there is where I want to add my first bit of kinetic text. To do that, I'll access the lower navigation menu bar. I'll select T for add text. And then uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to see black. So I'm going to click color down below in the lower left. I'm then going to double tap and click on add. I'm going to select done. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to select font. And I'm going to scroll and select spicy rice. Now, notice there's a little uh, pinch on it, so I can uh, make it bigger or smaller. And really, I want this to go kind of right about like this, a little bit away from me. And the reason why 
is I don't want any of the text hitting my head. I, I, I really want to have separation between me and the text. That gives a real clean, fun appearance. And now what we have right here is uh, add, pop. It's right there. And now we need to pop in cool right there. So I'm going to select done. And now I'm going to go in and select done again. And now I, I'm, I'm kind of starting out from scratch. And I can add a new effect. I can add in an image, which we're going to actually go over adding an image in just a bit. Now what I need to do is click on the T again, double tap. At this point, the font that I started with, Spicy Rice, is, is engaged, so I don't have to set that anymore. And I'm going to type in Cool. I'm going to select Done in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to pinch it to about this big. I, I actually don't want to make it too, too big because I, I want to have some white space on the screen. I want things to, uh, to be balanced and whatnot. And now what I can do is I can kind of scrub, add cool, and it really needs to disappear about right there. So notice down below, we've got a bar, it says duration, and on the far right, we've got max, and if I pull my finger to the right, or actually to the left, I increase the time. If I pull it to the right, I minimize, and I'm gonna pull it into about um, um, uh, one and a half seconds. So there we have it, one and a half seconds. Cool. Okay, that disappears right there. That looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this box. Now notice, and when I say this box, I'm talking about the playhead up above. Notice we've got the two text box, and one of them is highlighted in kind of a teal green. The other is black. Well, when I uh, click on the black, it goes to teal, and that's what I'm working on. Notice the duration for this uh, text effect is uh, three seconds. So I'm going to minimize it to about two, and I want to see, I want them to disappear at the same time. Oh, perfect. So let's play that again. I'm just going to select done. I'm going to start at the beginning. Okay, so that's really perfect and we're on our way. And you can see, you can really use this to create very cool, very engaging videos that, you know, I've spent hundreds of dollars on fancy video editing software. I use Final Cut Pro and what I'm able to create in this app is astonishing. Check it out. So we're gonna come in now and now we're gonna add in uh, three more elements. We're gonna add two more bits of text and then an image, and the image is black. It's gonna basically look black and white against the white background. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Create. Engaging. Engagement. Create engagement. Something to watch. Something to watch right there. Okay, so I want to add the words create. And right here, I need to add in create. C-R-E-A-T-E. -E. And now I'm going to uh, just kind of play this through. Okay, do you see how it's kind of close to my head? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to reduce the size. And I'm going to pull this more about to right there. And now I'm going to kind of see what it looks like. Create. And actually what I'm going to do is kind of get give it this kind of a t uh, effect. Create and still a little bit more, maybe a bit bigger. Create. And now right here, I need to add in the word engagement. So how do we do that? Well, I just go down below, I click on the T for add text again, and I add in the word engagement. Now I kind of did this kind of effect, right? And now I kind of want to see how long things are going to stay on the screen. Okay, I want the create to disappear a little sooner. 
So I'm just going to come in, pull this down to half the time from 3 seconds to 1.5, select Done, Create Engagement, Right here I say something, so I'm going to click on, actually I don't want it capitalized, and I want an apostrophe, kind of like slang. Now this time, this is a little different and this is a cool effect. I want the engagement and then something to watch. And right here, I'm going to pop in an image, and I want all this to remain on the screen longer, so it's just cool to look at. So how do I do that? I come in, and I select Image. I'm going to go to Camera Roll. In the right hand, upper right-hand corner, I select Camera Roll. And basically, I went and found a, an image on uh, Google, this one right here. And it's uh, transparent. It's PNG. And I'm just going to add this like this. And now what you, you're going to see is it, it kind of, exactly what I'm saying, pops on the screen. And we've got text. And we also have an icon re representing a TV engagement, something. And instead of typing out watch, I've got this popping in. And I'm going to select done. And let's see what we've got at this point. And did you see that right there? Did you see how this is kind of, uh, it's too close. So that something's got to get moved over. And that's pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to move this over a bit. And then that's going to be great. We're going to select done. And let's see what it looks like now. That looks really great, and you can do this, and you can add in a lot of words right as you're saying them, and it really creates a cool kinetic text. It's fun. It's engaging. It will hold people's attention, and it will help you to drive better results. Now, if you're new, again, to Brian G. Johnson, I've got tons of videos on editing with an iPad or an iPhone. I've also got a lot of videos that talk about how to get great results on YouTube. And holy smokes, my channel isn't even six months old, and I've got well over 2,000 subscribers, and my growth rate is, is unbelievable. I'm really shocked at how fast things are going. So growing, I should say. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. If you've got questions, if you've got comments or ideas, I'd love to get your feedback. Feel free to leave me a comment in the comments below, and I'll see you next time on Brian G. Johnson TV. Poof! Pixie dust.